Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? What we have here, I label this as equation one and this as equation two. Then from equation one, we make y the subject. And this this becomes y equals to time minus x. Then also from equation two, which is x times y equals to time, we substitute. The value of y here and this becomes x times 10 minus x equals to 10 here our next step here we open this bracket and we have 10 x minus x square equals to 10 on this side and when we rearrange here this becomes minus x square plus 10 x then 10 come to this side, we call minus 10, which is equal to 0 here. And from here, multiply through by minus 1. That is, multiply this through by minus 1. Here become plus x square. Here become minus 10x. Then here we have plus 10. This t equals to 0 here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1. b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 10 and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here we have x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 over 2 times 1 but this here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus this is 10 and plus or minus square root of minus 10 square as 100 minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then over 2 times 1, which is 2. Then, next step here, we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40. That gives us 60 here, then over 2. That is, here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 over 2 here which also can be separated from when we have root a times b which can write as root a times root b and this here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 all over 2 then here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that is 2 and times root 15 over 2 here. That is here. 2 is comma up. We have x equals to 2 into bracket. We need 5 and plus or minus root 15 here. Then over 2. And here we have 2 cancel with each other. This becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. That is, we have two possible values of x. The first one, x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. Or we have x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. Then, next step here, we find the value of y. Using the relation y equals to 10 minus x. That is, here. We have y1 equals to 10 minus x1, which is into bracket 5 plus root 15. And then this becomes y1 equals to minus open this bracket. We have 10 minus 5, then minus root 15, which becomes y1 equals to 5 minus root 15. That is the first set of solution x1 comma y1 is equals to 
x which is 5 plus root 15 comma y which is 5 minus root 15. Then also on this side we solve for y2 if using the same relation and y2 equals to 10 minus x2 which is into bracket 5 minus root 15. This here minus open this bracket where y2 equals to 10 minus 5 then plus root 15. Here we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 that's 5 then plus root 15. Also the second set of solution x2 comma y2 is 10 equals to 5 minus root 15 comma 5 plus root 15. That is, we have these two possible solutions. And when we see these solutions here, the value of x here is the value of y here, and the value of y here is the value of x here. Now, to check if this satisfies this given problem, we substitute the value of x and y for equation 1, which is x plus y equals to 10. We can use the first solution and the x there is 5 plus root 15 plus y is 5 minus root 15 then is it equals to 10 on this side that is here root 15 minus root 15 cancel each other and we have 5 plus 5 is it equals to 10 on this side and of course 5 plus 5 that's 10 which is equals to 10 here left hand side is equals to the Right hand side that is these two solutions here yes, satisfy the equation one and also for equation two which is x times y equals to 10 we substitute here the value of x and y that is for x times y equals to 10 then x that's 5 plus root 15 then times y which is 5 minus root 15 then is it equals to 10 on this side and this follows when we have a plus b into bracket open brackets a minus b which is same thing as a square minus b square that is here also we can write it as 5 square minus root 15 square is this equals to 10 on this side? In 5 square here, 5 times 5, that's 25 minus a square times the square root, we have 15. Is this equals to 10 on this side? And of course, 25 minus 15, that's 10, equals to 10 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that these two solutions here satisfy these two given equations and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now